Hey guys, so we're going to start looking at function machines. And a function machine is basically like we can imagine it as a machine that you're putting a number and you get a number out. So uh, it could be a different number. So we'll have an input, that's the number we put in, and we'll have an output, and that will be the number which we get out. So for here, for this function machine, um, you see it says times five. So that means that any number I put in, I've got to times it by five. So let's say I put in the number two. 2 times 5 is making 10, so my output is 10. I could try a different number, I could put any number I want into my number machine. Let's try the number um, 3. So 3 times 5 is 15. So my input was 3 and I got out an answer of 15. Um, I could even be adventurous, I could try um, 2.5, let's put in that number. 2.5 times 5 is 12.5. So I can put any number I want into this um, function machine and I can get out an output. And actually I could make my function machine a little bit longer. I could add a few chains to it. So here I've made a slightly bigger um, function machine. There's two operations that we need to do on our numbers. So again we're going to have our inputs and we're going to have our output. Let's see what we, what happens now. So if I put in the number 2, 2 times 5 makes 10, but then I need to add 2 onto that 10, so it's going to be 12. Let's try a different number. Let's try the number um, 3. So if I do 3, and then I times it by 5, we get 15, but then I need to add on 2. So that will make 17. Let's try one more number. Uh, let's be adventurous again. Let's go for a decimal number. Let's go for 2.5. So 2.5 times it by 5 makes 12.5. And then if we add on 2 onto 12.5, we'll have 14.5. Lovely jubbly. OK. Um, we could make our function machines even longer if we wanted to. So let's give you a quick example. Uh, I could put into this function machine the number 2, and we could do 2 times 5 is 10. Um, 10 plus 2 is 12. 12 divided by 2 is 6, and 6 plus 1 is 7. Um, maybe. I know what the answer is that I get out, but I don't know what the uh, what number I put in originally. So let's say that um, here I had the number, um, let's go for the number, ooh, I don't know, uh, should we go for 18? Let's go for the number 18. So if I wanted to go back and figure out, you know, what was it I started off with, I'm going to have to kind of do the opposite of this. So what, what do you times by 2 to make 18? Uh, well, it's the same as saying, what's 18 divided by 2? 18 divided by 2 is 9. Okay. Um, right, for this next bit then, what number do we take 1 away from to give us 9? That's the same as saying what's 9 plus 1? 10. Um, what number do you divide by 3 to give you 10? Well, that's the same as saying what's 10 times 3? So 10 times 3 is 30. And then what number do we add 2 to to get 30? That's the same as saying what's 30 divided by 2. So our number will have been 28 and we could check that if we wanted to we could go backward back forwards along our function machine it should take us to 18 so let's just quickly check that make sure we haven't made any mistakes so 28 plus 2 is 30 30 divided by 3 is 10 10 take away 1 is 9 and 9 times 2 is indeed 18 so we did that right and that worked lovely so if we want to go backwards along our function machine we need to use our inverse operations like the opposite Right, um, one more quick question, uh, sort of you might get asked perhaps, 
is they'll be you know saying well what, what's missing in this function machine I've got an input of four um, I do some stuff to it and I and I get out an answer of 17 so let's think what would happen here so the first thing that we do is times it by 3 so 4 times 3 makes 12 and then what do we need to do to 12 to make it 17 maybe you can spot that already um, one of the things you could do is you could add on 5 so I'm gonna pop into this box here add 5 and I've completed my function machine there to make it work and that is quick look at function machines Josh, Josh Matt. Matt. <laughs>